Unit 4, Section F, Exercise 6. Hello and welcome to the Science Now podcast. This week I've got Dr Mary Kenny, the Chief Scientist at the Percival Foundation, in the studio with me to discuss last night's The One Show on the BBC. Good evening. Now, before we begin discussing the programme, I'll just remind listeners what actually happened on The One Show. Last week we talked about the government's plans to offer a prize of £10 million to the scientist, amateur or professional, who can come up with a solution for one of the big challenges that are facing the world. The competition is called the Longitude Prize, and last night viewers of The One Show were asked to choose one challenge from a list of six for scientists to concentrate on. Dr Kenny, are you happy with the challenge that viewers chose? Well, before we discuss that, I'd just like to make a comment on the amount of money being offered for the Longitude Prize. You don't agree with the idea of prize money? Quite the opposite, actually. I'm quite thrilled by the prize in itself. But although £10 million sounds like a lot of money, it is really a lot less than the £54 million that one single fighter plane costs. So it's not as if the government was being incredibly generous. And what do you think about the viewers voting for antibiotics? Personally, I think it was a good choice. Obviously, you could make a strong case for all of the problems, but I agree that it is urgent that we find new medicines that can replace antibiotics. Most scientists agree that antibiotics have added about 20 years to our lives, but the world's health organisations are quite alarmed about the fact that antibiotics are having less and less effect. Is it that bad? Indeed it is. If antibiotics stop working, it means that medical operations will become much more dangerous experiences, and we will probably have to stop doing some kinds of operations for good. Hmm, that certainly would be serious. Let's hope that somebody wins the prize soon. 